Good afternoon, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is July 10th, 2019. I wasn't actually going to make another video today, but this video is important. And as you can see, I have the terror threat levels up. And I would say that what I'm about to discuss is somewhere between the substantial and the severe terror level threat. And I am actually quite serious about this. All right, so everybody is uh, commenting and making, um, well, you've sent me some uh, emails, made several comments with regards to the last upload that was done by Sharon Tracy Gale Bay and the Moorish Consulate. I'm going to be going over some of the information that is in that video because it's something that everyone needs to take seriously and actually needs to really pay attention to not seriously in the way that Sharon wants you to take it, but seriously from the standpoint that we are absolutely dealing with a terror threat here. This is something that is actually quite concerning because right in the video, it is stated that they are mobilizing and they are amping up. Islam. Um... We're going to have a meeting tomorrow around 7 o'clock. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow around 7 o'clock. We are going to have a meeting tomorrow around 7 o'clock. I might make it at 6, not necessarily sure, in regards to Sharifian officer appointments. It's in regards to Sharifian officer appointments for the security, protection, and enforcement of our commands here at Morocco. Although Sharon seemed to be confused about the timing of the meeting for these specific entities that are supposed to be her quote-unquote law enforcement officers, even though she calls them something else, that's really what she means. And let's talk about the fact that in this clip, Sharon decides that everyone is a human trafficker that isn't a part of her group. So, social workers police officers, judges, really pretty much anybody. I'm actually really surprised that she didn't go in and actually start calling doctors and nurses human traffickers. Um, so anybody claiming to be a so-called judge is a human trafficker. Anybody claiming to be a social worker is a human trafficker. Anybody claiming any activity outside of the du jour, uh, principle, the du jour laws of the land is a human trafficker. In this little section, you're going to hear her talk about the fact that you, if you're not part of that group, own nothing. You have no jurisdiction and you never had any right to own anything anyway. Take a listen. You're a human trafficker, you're a gang, and you're all part of the same gang that has been disembarked. So think about it this way. Every Asia, every so-called Albion that's claiming to be, that's falsely claiming to be a so-called American and a so-called white person, two of which are not any, that does not identify them in any way. The only classification that identifies them right now is an, in, an illegal alien. An illegal alien, alien who immigrated here with no lawful status and standing because they dissolved it. They dissolved any lawful standing and status they had here at Morocco. They own nothing. They have no authority here at Morocco. I tend to take particular offense to this specific section of the video because she talks about the fact that Native Americans or American Indians aren't really Native Americans or, in, uh, or uh, American Indians. It's really interesting to me how devoted she is into trying to discredit the American Indians. But do not feel left out as she discredits everyone else in addition. There's no such thing as American citizen without more being attached because the more is what attaches, what attaches you to the land, not American national. No one can be an American national who is not of a copper color complected or of the OGs of the world. And I'm going to say that. An American, by definition, is the copper-colored skinned individuals found here. But it's deeper than that. It ties you to the land. Your Moorish bloodline ties you to land. Nothing else ties you to the land. No native affiliations, no tribal affiliations tie you to the land. It's your Moorish nationality, your heritage that you get from your forefathers and your foremothers. 
now we've gone into the delusion of who originally started everything and this is where she proclaims that her and people that look like her that are on the land of the United States in which she believes is actually Morocco started everything and that they were here before anyone was here they were here even before they were here and not identifying as to anything out there that is man-made you are not man-made baby you come from the divine straight from the source that's why you're sovereign you're sovereign moorish american nationals because you were here before there was anybody else before there was a here to speak of you were here nobody else was here every other humanoid came after that Every other humanoid came after that and anybody claiming to be original, aboriginal, you're not original. I am original. I come from the bloodline of my ancient forefathers who started this whole thing. The amping up is coming quickly on this as you'll notice that in this next section she talks about how her and all of the other mothers created everything. And here is the inside knowledge on this. These individuals believe they're going to think this into existence. So if you were all sitting back and waiting for paperwork to do the job, well, that's only a small sliver of what they're talking about. See, the point being here that they have mixed together sovereign citizen ideology, the claim that they believe that the government is a corporation, which we have actual factual proof that it's not, and the fact that um, they can use like a new agey type of religious kind of talk um, in order to supposedly manifest things in addition to apparently doing spells that uh, makes them believe that they can manifest out of nowhere whatever it is that they want and they believe I, I think based on what I'm hearing that if enough of them get together and do this that they will not have to mobilize physically. However, we are not putting the mobilization physically down either. Listen to this clip. Subject, because it could not exist without you first manifesting it. That's why you're mother. Mother manifests everything that's here. So whatever good's here, she manifests. Whatever bad here, she also too manifests. Nobody can claim to be you. Nobody can claim sovereign citizenship. Nobody can claim to have any rights, dominion, unless they got it granted from the mother from the divine. That's me, that's you. Nobody else has that claim. Our sons have that claim through us. And everybody who came after the creation of, after, uh, is a creation of us. We created everything that came here. Everything that came here after us was created by us, which is why it is subject to us absolutely positively for those of you who have not heard this part of the video some of you will get a good chuckle out of this and others of you will be going hmm because this is definitely one of those things that can make you go hmm so apparently the Moorish consulate has now placed a lien on the Moorish science temple because they are a 501c3. Take a listen. I know that we have a, a class tomorrow on Wednesday to talk about Sharifian appointments because the unity is the key. And yes, more science temples, you have been leaned. You don't have to worry about it. If you are a 501c3, you can be leaned because you are a corporation. You don't have to wonder. All corporations operating outside of nationality, operating outside of, of, of de jure law is going to get leaned. You don't have to worry. It is on its way if it hasn't already been manifested. All right. So in this part of it, you are being commanded by the non-existent government of the Moorish consulate, apparently, uh, or the Moorish national divine government, she calls it. Um, that anything that they tell you to do is what you're to do. And if you don't do those things, then, um, well, you're going to get leaned and they're going to throw you off your property and, well, you know, the spiel. But here it is in her words. Every corporation operating outside of the jurisdiction of mother is going to be leaned. And that's even if mother herself is sitting here acting in that capacity as a nom de guerre. 
that's even our Asiatic women that don't want to that sit here want to play and think we play in. I'm not playing in with no one. Everyone is going to do what they are required to do, commanded to do by this government. Apparently, if you listen further, Sharon's a bit concerned about whether or not you actually heard what she said 27 or 28 times in a row, and as a result, informs everyone to either get on a boat or get your citizenship papers from them. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Albion's, you are an organized or lack of there. You used to be an organized gangs. Now you're all like roaches running. You're all roaches running. Only one place you need to be running to. Actually two. If you're not running for if you're not running to the Moorish American Consulate for citizenship paperwork, you need to be getting you need to be chartering a boat and getting off our land. You have those two only options. There's no other options that you have. You cannot continue to falsely identify as a government when you're a corporation without status and standing here at Morocco. In a particularly offensive manner, Sharon decides in this part of the video to inform everyone that really you had a job. You uh, white people, pilgrims, whatever you want to call yourselves, you were supposed to be our slaves. You were supposed to be washing the streets. You were supposed to be fixing the buildings. You were the ones who were the slaves and y'all screwed up. So now they have to do what they have to do. Take a listen. You were supposed to be doing things that you did not do. You were supposed to be caretakers for the land. You were never given the authority to create anything outside of what we told you to do. Nothing. You're supposed to be just like these gentlemen here, mowing the lawn, washing the streets, fixing the buildings, repairing the buildings, keeping your subjects of you your people, your families in check, only your families. There should be no human trafficker claiming to be a law enforcement agency agent, claiming to be anything with a police. The only people you have the authority to police are your own. Ever more increasingly aggravated, Sharon decides in this part of the video that she's gonna start talking about how the United States government relinquished control to the states. And then she's not just talking about the Tenth Amendment, she is actually talking about the fact that that is supposedly some sort of proof that they relinquished it over to them because the states belong to the citizens and they're the only real citizens. You can hear it in her words right here. Now we're giving you our, our commands. They gave you those directives. Now we are giving you our commands. Their directives to you was that, oh, we are relinquishing control and authority of the American states in, the, in all of the property, including the, the individuals, have been revenued to the American people. You're not American, never were an American person. This next section that you're about to hear is rather ironic, being the fact that we just got through doing the Snoop for Truth video on the fact that without a shadow of a doubt, we have factual, verifiable, and proven sources that show the United States is 100% absolutely not a corporation, and not only is it not a corporation, it cannot be a corporation. Sharon goes into talking about 15 U.S.C. Section 15A, where she says it claims it's a federal corporation. Those are just definitions, Sharon. And if you actually take a look at the top of that page, you'll see that it says for this section only. 100% has already been debunked, not just by myself, but many, many, many others, including but not limited to Snoop for Truth, which was the video that was just done that totally rips that hoax to shreds. 
The United States is not, cannot, and never will be able to be its own corporation. But let's listen to it coming straight from the horse's mouth. Sharifian officer with the titles of nobility comes to your, comes to the house that you're squatting in, immigrants, aliens, foreigners. You have, it is in your best interest to vacate. But guess what? Guess when they're coming? They're not coming on the front. They're coming after all the due processes has been done. This is where you come in, Morris. And this is where the repossession process of the grid has to get done, but cannot get done until you complete grid one and two. You at least have to do grid one and two. And there is no such thing as ownership of anything, including self, if you're claiming to be a U.S. citizen, 18 U.S.C. 911, 18 U.S.C. 911, is telling you you can't be that. Also, is it 15 USC 3002, which tells you that the, Fed, that the United States is a corporation. It tells you that it's a corporation, not a country. In this next clip, you're going to hear Sharon talk about amping things up, making the pot boil. It's really interesting to me that those words are the ones that are being used. You know, you'd think on YouTube, you might be a little more careful what you say, but apparently it doesn't seem to matter. Ain't nothing to get done. It's already done. You're welcome. All the Moors who have been putting this work in for the past 50 years, been putting hard work 100 years, Islam to you. Islam to you for not being scared to be yourself and putting the information out there so we can bang that ass. No black person owns anything. No, um, no, no, no uh, white person owns anything. No alien owns anything. No immigrant owns anything here at Morocco. You own nothing. Your stew is get yourself in alignment with the supreme laws of the land so you do not get cast ashore, offshore rather. Those that get subject paperwork from the Moorish American nationals and the Moorish American governments in national states, because a state can only exist, a government can only exist by the sovereigns of the land. All of this is, all of what I, I've been um, broadcasting is a stepping stone to the next level. Now that you're all aware of all of these things, her final basic statement is, don't make us come to your door. Move out when we send you your notice. And by the way, she's claiming everybody's going to get one. Broadcasting is a stepping stone to the next level. Right now, the pot's on warm. It's about to go on high. It's about to go on high. So when you get the notices in, your, in the mail, all you squatters is in your best interest to start moving because this is our due process to you. This is us peacefully acquiring our land. Don't make us come to your domicile and kick you out. Don't make us do that. When you get those directives and you got 30 days, you have 30 days. And that 30 days might turn into six months because we just ain't got time. We, we just ain't get to you yet. Don't wait. Start moving. Liquidate however you can because contrary to proper belief, Nobody is wealthy if they're claiming to be a Negro color, black, white person. You have nothing. You're penniless. This final clip, well, it's just for fun because I want you guys to see, basically, this is exactly how she feels. Create subjects. Albion women create subjects. Asiatic women create heirs. That's the difference. Align yourself that way if you want to. It's going to be at your detriment. You're not getting any access to this estate without coming through the Asiatic woman. And she's got to be in her proper person in order for that to happen. So you can sit here and put all these ignorant out, these ignorant Asiatics that don't know they are Moorish American nationals at the front line. They all get leaned to because they're outside of status. Everybody is going to feel the pain if they don't realign. Pain is a hell of a motivator, and the Prophet Noble Joali said, what I got to do, kill you? So, now that you know what a mobilization for a terror attack looks like, where do you guys think we fall on the chart when it comes to the Moorish Consulate?
ಹ್ಞೂ